Easing it down to Cripps, who might have been... Carlton! Manhandled. Advantage. You. Advantage paid. High inside forward 50. No one home. Another hold. So this Sorry, works Levi. for the Blues. Big Levi Casbolt. But even that kick going inside forward 50, that wasn't in the favour of any of the Carlton forwards. Bit of a soft free kick there, but he, was not, he wasn't facing the ball. But even if that kick there goes, it's in favour of two of the Richmond defenders. That's not a free kick, they're straight out. You can see Richmond have the uh, the blokes on the outside if they did get the ball. Must convert, and does. The Blues get one back. And then if you look at the Richmond, Richmond blokes have good skills, but their, their game style's built on energy and pressure and just putting the opposition oh, under extreme pressure to get turnovers. So good intercept mark by Casbolt. Newman. Great to and you can provide more options for the kicker. That, say, a, an average to good kick can actually become a really good kick because he's got E type of player. His, uh, his work off the ball has improved that much. He's working defensively, he's working for his teammates. Um, it's not so much about getting the ball. Asprey. Caddy. Now Grimes all the way back has got a body line this ball. Casbolt will get a free. Nice kick inside 50 there, and just the pressure. They, uh, they couldn't get it out, which Richmond did so easily uh, early in the game. I've, I've been pumping up Richmond about their pressure and what their what their brand of football is, but Carlton have been excellent uh, as far as tackling-wise. They've had 45 tackles to 17, and since quarter time, they've had 26 to 8, and they just had two in that play then. So they've lifted their intensity, which has brought them back into the game. Five of Carlton's eight goals have come from free kicks. This will make it six, and it'll make it a very nice start to this final term. 28 points. Weedering. Would have backed him, though. Got to take every risk here. The Play Blues, Casbolt. Doherty. Slide the ball down the line. Well presenting to. It must be Casbolt. And then... Experience. He worked hard for that, Doherty. He ran 100 metres to get that second possession. Down the line to Casbot. Can he find a chest? He does. Short pass better. is good. Get better. It. Off half back, Simpson, a warrior for this football club. To McGovern, can he grab it? He can't. But Martin, look at this man go. Streams forward. Long ball towards Casbot. A big Levi takes a big grab. That's Great why passage. you recruit Jack Martin. Great passage, wasn't it? The, the class to rove, to be in the right position, to, to have the speed to break away, and then to pick the right option streaming forward on the wrong foot. That was a superb kick. And this is what Levi caswell has got to do. I mean, minimal minimal impact on the game for yep. a big bloke. He's got to be getting getting to more marking contests. We know he's got beautiful hands. To kick three in a row for the Blues. Casbolt check sides it through. Oh, oh, <laughs> Dunstall shakes his head, but a goal's a goal. And Carlton moved back into the game. Well, you saw the reaction from the Carlton players. That's what they needed. Reward for effort. All of a sudden, you get it. They're four goals down. And, and they could have been eight or ten goals down, the way the game was going five minutes into the second term. How good was Doherty to get across and stop Fritz taking the second grab there? I mean, this is this is the best passage of play, clearly, for the day. Look at that. Beautiful, beautifully red. But um, problems here for Melbourne. Well, this is a new look Carlton forward line in some ways. Casbolt is in the middle of it, but they've added some stock to their forward line to try and change it up a bit. We talked about Charlie Kerno not being there, but Martin is a new recruit. You mentioned Gary. Game two only with Jackson. It's been good on debut. Floating in nicely, though, is Casbolt. Levi goes inside with another touch and the experienced smooth mover. It's Lever. Lever's gone to Casbolt there and just dropped off him. So their rebound off half back is as. Wienering in some space. Casbolt got there. Good hands. Big he fan of this three goals to nil. He has abs He's been one of the most improved players over the last two to three years in the game. His kicking has improved dramatically, Jason. He's a great mark. He's just become a fantastic servant of this footy club. Got a little bit of attention from Ree Stanley after the mark too. Happy to try and ride him into the ground. Didn't give away the 50. He's kicked 135 goals, 99. So that figure has improved. You're right, Jared. over the last couple of years. 
Struck this okay. Struck that as good as you can strike it. Three goals to nil. So if you're a Blues supporter sitting at home and you're watching this, you've wanted to see effort, but it's also the reward for effort they're now getting. So there's no point getting a good start if you're not doing damage on the scoreboard. Yep. They've done that now. They've kicked the first three goals of the game, and the game's flowing their way. The, the, the issue now is how long can they maintain this intensity for? Well, I think what you're seeing is effort, but you're also seeing method. You know, they are winning clearances. They're resetting their forward line, as uh, David has said, and they're taking their opportunities. And just getting back to the kicking improvement of uh, the bolt, you know, he was given up on as a player. He was on the market, and uh, probably, I think it was an opportunity for clubs to get themselves a really strong power forward, but there wasn't a big enough taker, and he has reconsidered his position. He's uh, taken advice from kicking coaches, etc. and he actually hits darts around the ground now. He's really... An amazing, improving player. The use has been impressive early, Dwayne. It has. Again, Cripps is ignored. He goes wide to it. Casbold just the majority of time. Kuno allowed to play onto advantage here. Out wide to Casbold. Got there. Super kick. Super kick. Again, that was Pitnet that earned that ruck infringement. He got front position big enough to hold it against Stan Stanley. Uh, drew the free kick. Kuno took the advantage and then found that little pocket of space for Casbolt to lead into. Can he reproduce that beautiful kick we saw from him in the first quarter? I'll be the loose. Oh, Casbolt's hands magnificent. McGovern looks up, popped Great the pass. Casbolt lays out with a bow on that. Gee, that's a good kick. He just, he, he looked quickly, McGovern. And it was, Henry was the opponent for Casbolt. And Casbolt was pushing back on him, almost facing his own goals, and then came back on the lead and he just chipped it into space. That's it, the one that did, Stanley has to hit the deck. It's yeah. just got to go to ground. And he didn't make the contest, and the coach will want to know why. Hold him, Mark. Been kicking well, and the Blues have all the answers so far. Well, given the conditions, Jason, this has been an amazing effort for. Contested marking inside the forward line. There's been two or three players uh, that are sharing the load, but uh, here's a terrific mark from McGovern. And we know Casbolt's always been a great mark, but he's added good goal kicking and good field kicking to his game. So they've got Mackay as well, who can also uh, present. But uh, right now, uh, McGovern is making a mark on this game, albeit uh, with only a few possessions. Three contested marks. Three shots, or three kicks at 100%, and he's kicked a couple of goals himself. Big free that, because he's a goal with a winner and change left would have been massive, and that's another good set of hands Mark shown by Levi. He was literally Mark shocked, Tom Hawkins, absolutely yeah. shocked that that decision went against him. And Gibbons. Heads wide towards Kasbok, whose first half was outstanding. Oh, Harry. Oh, Gron. Go closer. Kasbok now feeding as the leading target. It's in his direction, and he's got it. I mean, they're just spreading oh, the right on. To Eddie. Thought about it. Thinks about it. The dodge step, yeah. the drop step, the kick. Cripps. Wow. Gary. Ball uh, ricocheted off, and they just chopped the ball uh, from one side of the ground, or into the middle, then back out to the other side. And Casbold has just been a pillar of strength. Eddie's actually having fun. A single oh. handle, they saved the goal moments ago. He pumps it out. Casbold got up. Big grab. Spectacular, okay, mate. Find out from Lingy if Jack Silvani's okay. Here's Levi. They are rock solid hands. They just stick, don't they, when he puts the big mitts out. Good grab. Oh, he's always been a great contested mark of the footy. He's getting to more contests now. And when they go in, they're not coming out, and they are just strong hands. And now, it doesn't look great for Jack Silvani. Let's see how he converts. Going through five straight from set shots for the year. Levi directly in front. Not a problem at all. Gleason around the body, but Casbolt's in the hole. Play on. Levi working back into defence. Move it on, play on. 
Four or five nice minutes here for the Bombers. That's not a great ball. Straight to it. Levi Casbolt. Might be pretty happy to see that one out of bounds. Wow. Shooting the ball. You. Yep. And that's a nicely steered ball into the hands of Levi Casbolt. Got to have another look at that holding the ball. Wow. That was red hot. You're right on now, Levi. Cool. I correct the slow as we were trying. Eddie, take me out. Oh, Devin. He's out of play. Another metre back. One back. Well, this will test the advanced kick kicking skills of Levi Casbot. The 45 what? metre banana. Five. Have a look at Levi. <laughs> wow, we. He can't miss, Levi. That's unbelievable. He hit that sweetly, Levi. Seven straight for the year. Hold there. Oh. Bell Chambers taken out of it. No. Mark. He tried to make sure the umpire That's saw okay. that he was, but it's it. Right. six degrees in Melbourne tonight. It's long ball forward and look at Casbolt. His hands are white hot. He's in a sweet spot, isn't he? You can just see the confidence in him when he approaches the footy. He knows if he gets two hands to it, he's going to mark it, and he's just timing it beautifully. Have a look at this. Just timed his run at the highest point. What hope did Hooker have? None. The ball just stays in there, too. There's no bobbling. Zaharakis keeps it in. Kasbold goes back and marks it again. There's Murphy again. Hacks it inside, 50. Getting on the end of it, Levi Kasbold. Jim Mark Murphy's been big in these last five minutes for the Blues. It's a great vision before to set up Jack Martin. That was just a committed contest at the stoppage. Quick kick in front of Stringer, but then previously that body line, the ball that you guys spoke about to force the ball out of bounds. Massive from the former skipper. That just bobble out. At Mark. I reckon it did on that replay. Right, Levi Casbolt, big moment to draw the Blues level. Beautiful. Right through the middle. Eight straight. So quickly to the boot, Murphy. Casbolt playing in front. Need to see the other angle on that one. He kicked truly, though. Beautiful finish. We loved it off the boot, big Levi. It's a real 50-50 game, this one, Richo, literally. We're all locked away on that score. It's the one result they didn't want the Blues. They've got Langford back on. Gleeson Long. Oh, Casbolt. Wonderful contested mark. This is better. Martin trying to spot up someone on the lead, and he has. And this is Levi Casbolt. Such great form. Sorry, Liggy. Sorry, Bruce. Pat, uh, Cripps has been thrown oh. forward. Boy, there's Martin, out of a fence, high ball. Casbolt. Hasn't kicked one this year, and he goes for the top of the square kick. Levi. Good grab. Just read it better than everybody else. Been in great marking form this year. Predominantly up the other end of the ground. Simpson on the run, though. Got set a field, but he ignored him. He found Casbolt at half back. Riley West in game six. Hits it down the line. Bontempelli bumped and Casbolt stood his ground, solid as ever. Lynchy, a couple of good contested marks. Has it just dried up a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. The rain stopped about 15, 20 minutes ago, and yeah, this drains very well. Petreski, Seaton to McGovern. Important intercept mark at yep. centre half back, but straight away he rolls, and this is a pretty bold kick for a guy that has been criticised at times for his unreliable kicking, and it just opens the whole game up. So Petreski, Petreski Seaton, and these boys. They don't get involved in the game through the corridor unless Levi has the courage to pull that kick inside. Just the required 15. And there's that brave inside kick again. Casbolt. And Bailey Smith just continues to improve. He's going to drag these taggers to limit his performance. This is kickable for Levi. They've been, good. They've been very good, the key forwards. Not big numbers. I think this will be disposal number nine. Mackay's at about seven or eight, but just their presence in the forward 50, you can go, it's handy for a midfielder, you know you can pull the trigger, and at the very least you're going to get a big contest. 
He's within range. Loads up on it. Looks good off the foot. And he's got it there. Clear. Glorious goal from Levi Casbolt. He's just one of the great stories. He was a thousand to one to kick that five years ago, and he's worked and worked. His career was just about shot. He was on the table. You could have picked him up for uh, a round four draft pick a few years ago, and everybody balked, and he took it as the insult it was, and he's turned himself into a hell of a player, and he's having a fantastic season. He's, uh, he'd have to be on the table for an All-Australian spot, and he just if he just keeps working and working, he might just uh, turn him in to uh, an all Australian himself into an all Australian player to nail this. I mean, a lot of players can't make the distance from this point, but a bloke who has had a long history of uh, not being able to accurately kick at a flawed ball drop, he has just become a hell of a a reliable player. You've highlighted already his inside yeah. inside 50 kick and that particular one. Great work from Levi Casbolt. Fox footy live. Kerno with the kick away to half forward. Casbolt. Oh, oh, Setterfield kept his head. He went to McGovern. He just rolls with it, and that's why Levi. Just rolls back into that hole. Over into Murphy to Casbolt. He's covering some territory, the big guy. To half forward, Martin. Kerno. Walsh turned around. Kicked the full forward, Martin. And big Levi. Casbolt takes it. Jones sends it back again. Casbolt. Oh, Kick it a bit out. Pops it up into the pocket. Mackay. He's got it. Takes it wide. Oh, Something they've done really well this game. Walsh. They're ready for the entry from Casbolt. Oh, and that's by Ben Mackay. So the kick goes forward. And then Casbolt comes out in front of Walker, who's his seat into the wing. Kennedy up to meet it, but give the set of field. They're off in pursuit, but an attacking play again, and this time Casbolt got the jump on Mackay. No, just, good, sorry, but, uh, good decision by Mark Murphy not to, not to take the advantage. Understand that there was a mark. Time just to settle down, have a little breather, and let Casbolt have a set shot. I like the way they're moving the ball. Handball receives, aren't and, they? And they're getting it moving. They're going forward with uh, with positive intent and they're hitting their targets. You get the right people kicking the footy, it makes such a big difference. 13 inside 50s for five scores so far. It's about to be a sixth, you would think. Levi Kaspar, he's hit that pure. And the Blues get their fifth goal. Yeah, they made their intentions clear quite early with the way that they wanted to move the ball. And a few handball receives early on in the game. It wasn't the right time for them, so the Carlton player receiving was shut down, but it looks like they've found the right balance at the moment. It's making it hard for North Melbourne to get set from a defensive point of view because the ball is always in motion. You just can't get a good read on it. So that handball received there, a lot of the time defenders think you might be going long because you're in that unfamiliar or that uneasy territory, and that's when those lead-up um, options open up. One of the big issues for North Melbourne is they're on the back foot from the start. It's 11 to 2, the clearances. 5 to 1, the centre clearances. They're getting dominated at the stoppage, so all of a sudden you're having to defend rather than setting something up with it. Walsh up to 18 disposals now. And Levi got loose. I reckon Eddie ran a little bit of interference for him. Yeah, Josh Walker is furious. Just pause for a moment. Now he's got a loose out on the wing. And Pasbolt's a sound target. The best in the business when it comes to those contested marks. He's one of these. He's one of these modern key forwards. On the arc, he gives it plenty, Harry, right to the line, and Casbolt takes the mark, and the Hawks' defence and indeed their whole team is under real pressure now. I'll well, just be careful in case he runs out here, Hutto, but. Mackay, one of these modern key forwards, that when they launch, there aren't many defenders can, that can reach those heights. Ten goals, four for the season for Levi, and the arms are up early for the Blues fans. Three goals, one unanswered so far. Well, they're hot, and this is the Jack Gunston. Oh, that's a fair, it's a fair, that's a free kick. You know, one is to Shepard, but two, he got him high, so. That is a free kick, but as you were saying, Nick, 
you know, Sam Frost is no slouch. He's an athletic piece, but he was still half an arm shorter. Once, he, la once he launches, yeah. So you think of the, the, the King boys now. Once these 200-plus centimetre key forwards launch, there aren't many that can go with them. And we know Levi has been a great contested mark for a long time. What a luxury to have these contested marking weapons in your forward line so you can roll and you can go long to a contest. In the kick, Walsh, plenty on it. Here comes Levi, fighting across the front, and he takes the mark. Jack Martin clapping his hands. Please pass it over, but no. Uh, to, to, the turnover occurred on the other side of the ground in, in the defensive half, so you just wonder how it does, when it takes that period of time to transfer the ball the length of the field, how Levi Casbold is left unattended and able to essentially take an uncontested mark. 11 goals, four for the season. And that'll do. So it's Carlton with the first strike in the second. Now he called it, Jordy, with the, the ball movement. So the intercept mark, there wasn't a hesitation. The switch was on and they took it straight away. And Hawthorne had a couple of opportunities. Actually won the ball back with, with Scrimshaw. And but that's, what, that's what you do when you, get, when you get to the open side. You can still have a not go to plan. Because the defence is so caught out, they're not all in sync. Whereas if you go down the line a lot of the time, everyone's in their own position that you can get set from a defensive point of view. But when you use the open side, it's more unpredictable from a defensive structure point of view. Yeah, they'd love to show that edit, won't they? On, well, well, they'd love to day. show, yeah. One that, tackle, two tackle, harass. And good ball, yes. And certainly from a defensive point of view, how Levi Kasbot was able to get so much space. I mean, that, that's the behind the goal vision that you can see from the coach's box. And maybe it was Sicily that just took an yeah. aggressive position up front. Oh, I think you're right, Jordy. So I think Sicily sees Scrimshaw's won it. OK, I'm going to get assertive because we need to get our ball use going. So you can forgive him on that occasion. But no, the release handball to Tockety. He ran straight into a brick wall in the form of Tom Scully. High ball deep. He got a free run at it, Levi. And he's a natural mark. And once he got the opportunity, he gobbled it up. And 50. Means there'll be no room for Levi to get the wobbles. Oh, well, it's the second 50 they've given away this, this game for a direct goal. So I don't know what it was for, whether it was for abuse towards the umpire. No, he couldn't. Of course he couldn't. And they need them right now, Carlton. Absolutely desperate. So seven goals on end. And Levi's kicked his third. He might have to get a new ball. He might have kicked that ball out of the stadium. <laughs> Just great pressure here from Mark Pitnett. And then the hairball. I thought Doherty running to his left was probably a mistake, but he corrected himself and came back onto his right foot. He was able to able to put it to a dangerous spot. I mean, what transpired after that, I don't know. It may have been abuse towards the umpire or... I think it was Sam Frost. Shaw back to Kennedy. Now, huge pack. Oh, good grab, Casbolt. And the West Coast defenders shake their head. What an advantage it is, isn't it, to have someone who can cluck it like that, Lee? Yeah, genuine contested mark. It's always been a strength of his game, Levi. He's added so many more elements to his game, which has been great, but... West Coast to be disappointed here. They had it well set. Oscar Allen is the Ruckman spare. Barris is there. Hearn's there. Levi just makes it his own. Off hands to Kennedy. Blues just started really well. And out comes Levi. Maybe this is his range. 18th inside 50 West Coast. And they've only put up six shots. Down the line. In the hands of Casbolt. Supreme. He's got a chance here, Gibbons. Can they get one back here, the Blues? Running bounce to Levi. Out in front of Cole. I like that from Cottrell though, BT. He was looking corridor, looking corridor. Wasn't on. Obviously, West Coast were well set up. And then quickly went the long down the line one. Didn't wait and wait until everyone was set up perfectly. Got it there. And a good grab by Pitnett, and they were away. He's completed well today, Levi Casbold, as he always does. Hasn't had a lot of opportunity got what he wanted and that's the footy. He's going to send the Blues to half forward. Beautiful lead presented by Levi Casbolt. So quick. Gibbons and to Casbolt. Back to Murphy. 
Spotted a target out wide that he liked. And they're good hands. Hold oh, there, Luke. Well, they're some of the best hands in the game at the moment, lead by Casbolt. Might have got away with one. No, foul. Out of the ruck. Levi Casbolt. The Blues have got there first. Levi Casbolt, we know he's a great contested mark, and I reckon that's how you've got to treat these throw-ins in the forward line. If you're a good mark like Casbolt is, treat it as a contested mark. Tom Hawkins does it as well as anyone in the competition. He fetches something out of this Nunes. That'll be OK. Honing was superb. The athleticism over the top. Kurnow's had a huge night. That was disposal number 29, and Levi steps up. And he's within range. Play on. Doherty. Yep. Pounds a long one. Casbolt's hands are so good. So the ex-teammate, so he gets himself into a bit of a jam and gets it to Cripps. He does, and Cripps never wastes the ball. Here's Casbolt. Back now to centre field. Little kick to relieve the pressure. He's good to Casbolt. It is beats in, then Casbolt quickly on. Lovely kick. Martin just covers the ground so well, doesn't he? He is that sweet mover on the left, doesn't matter for him. Eddie lurking and Casbolt. Levi gets into a strong spot. And Duck, we haven't seen many of those clunk tonight, have we? No, we haven't. And that one was a good kick, wasn't it? But once again, the fact that Martin's able to play on BT and get that pass that man on the mark, you get that ball in a little bit longer and just read that better. Doherty, as Duck said, been very impressive, and he leads the back line well. Strong oh, mark by Casbolt. Fine that you're able to take, and that's that's strong from Casbolt. And and to have the Nows to play on too, clever little handball. That passion. Absolutely. And here he is. He displayed that in the rooms after the game, didn't he? So here's Casbolt. And then you, you make your decision a lot quicker. So Plowman's kick, good to Casbolt. So we oh, you just felt like something was going to happen. So Doherty, how do they play it, both these teams? The strategies would be faster. Casbolt important, that mark, that mark down the line that releases so much pressure, but he's gone back to Weedering. So they've gone backwards here, the Blues. Doherty, back to where they were a moment ago. So the Blues have got to get the ball forward of 50. They haven't really been able to do it. Casbolt. So he's up the ground, Casbolt, a lot in this quarter, isn't he? Probably going to go a lot longer. With, oh, he's gone short again. And this time Walsh makes it. He went to Walsh last time, but it was a hard kick. Finlayson. Long and wide. Good mark taken by Casbolt. Where you are? Simpson. Here they go on the attack again, the Blues. Simpson with a little chisler. Casbolt mark. Reed and McLean have both taken contested marks for goals. Malikin's been terrific against... Yeah. The fans there, they feel like they're hard done by at the moment. Deep ball. Casbolt! Had his name all over it, the big strong man. Yep, he can take the big contested mark, can't he? And there's another one, Robbie Fox, that's had to play tall this year for Sydney. He just oh, didn't man. have the physical size to get up to the height that Levi Casbolt was going to mark the ball. Desperately needed assistance to come. And uh, Alia couldn't get there. In fact, Alia got blocked by, by Zach Fisher, which is really good body work. 46th game at Metricon Stadium for Jack Martin, the former Swan. Oh, Levi, former Sun. Advantage to play. The Blues go inside 50. Casbolt presents. This is about the distance where he missed in the first term, Jace. Oh, this is what David Teague wants to see. Just someone that can kick the ball to the advantage of a leading forward, give him a run and jump, and the forward presents in the right area. It's the best entry, so, isn't it, Jace, of the yeah, night, really? It is. Yeah. We, get, we get a great view here. I actually like to have changed angles a little bit more in the last few minutes. Carlton didn't see a lot of this in the first quarter, or the first half especially. They changed angles nicely there. Good delivery. I want to keep an eye on his run up here. No problems this time for Levi. The Blues get their first in the second half. They're hanging in there, the Navy Blues. They're working their way back into this, aren't they? They are working hard, the Blues. It's just that polish in the forward end. I think we were sort of saying the first half, Jason. 
Yeah, this free kick to uh, Weedering. You know, he, he would have bombed if he had the ball, or, or, a, or Nunes would have bombed along to the top of the goal square. That's a really interesting decision to pay advantage there because he fumbled it and then put his hands up as though to say stop. Pretty good effort considering he's probably arguably the premier small forward in the competition. Yep. Two and a half on the clock. All square at Metricon. Measures a kick to a contest. Levi doesn't let him down. He wants to go, Levi. Stops, props. Where's Big Mackay? There he is. Dawson stands beside him. What about this shot ball inside? 50 control from nowhere. With the game on his boots. We've spoken tonight about the wingers pushing forward, Jase, hitting the scoreboard. A man's played a lot of the night on the wing. Going forward to take a mark, kicked the goal last week. Kicked Sam one Walsh career goal. One, yeah, one career goal. I think it was last week or the week before. Sam Walsh kicked one. Nunes has kicked plenty of goals from the wing. Thanks, Lynchy. And yeah, not the good news. That for the Blues. We'll keep an eye on that. That's the issue. We'll seem to sort of pop it a little. Hasbolt dives, takes the mark. Just got taken back from Gibbs. <laughs> Williamson. Casbolt. So a few Blues just starting to find it now. Casbolt. Fights off the inside kick, so... In this third term. Goes inside with the kick nicely to Casbolt. That's who was quick to leave his man and poke the pass, hoping for him finding Levi. Hands inside. Michael Givens wants to give it off. De Koning went and found it. It dribbles into the hands of Casbolt and he kicks a goal. Levi Casbolt gets on the end of some good work from the Blues. The Twin Towers there working nicely. Mackay up the ground and Levi Casbolt staying closer to home. Richo, you called this beautifully at the time. It's often the big forwards who want to play on because they know that's exactly how they want the ball themselves. Exactly, Dust. And he played on, and then you'd think on the move. And when you do that, oh, look at all the thoughts that are out behind the footy. It doesn't give the Brisbane Lions any time to set up their defence. I mean, De Koning probably should have marked that. It doesn't matter. They get the goal anyway. But defences hate that. You keep the defence on the move. Keep them... Uh, 